The year is 1997 and the successor to the Alfa Romeo 155 is launching. The Alfa Romeo 156. With its breathtaking design, beautiful interior and sports car-like handling, the car won the people over instantly. But the real surprise was hidden underneath the bonnet. With the launch of the 156, Alfa Romeo showcased a new, a new type of diesel engine, a more refined, balanced, and quieter version of their previous diesel engine. The secret was in common rail technology. It was the first engine ever made with this technology, and it caught the world by surprise. The name of this engine was the Jet Turbo Diesel, or as most of us know it, the JTD. While many of you would think that the first common rail engine would be designed by the people at Volkswagen, you would be mistaken. Around 15 years before the common rail engine was designed, the most modern diesel engine was a turbocharged indirect injection engine in the Mercedes W116 300SD. Then came 1986 and Fiat surprised the world with the first direct injected turbo diesel which they put in their Fiat Chroma. The Germans were full three years behind the Italians, with their first direct-injected turbo diesel being introduced with the Audi 100. But enough talking about the Germans. Today, we're here to commemorate the amazing JTD. When it first got into production, there were two variants. There was a more popular 1.9 version with 105 horsepower and a magnificent 2.4 JTD a five-cylinder engine with 136 horsepower. Later in life, the 1.9 had many outputs ranging from 80 to 115 horsepower, while the 2.4 had outputs from 136 to 150 horsepower. The first generation of the 1.9-litre JTD had only eight valves, meaning two per cylinder, while the 2.4-litre had ten valves in total. In 2004, the second generation of the JTD known as Multijet, brought a redesign to the cylinder head, putting two more valves per cylinder and adding a second camshaft, meaning that the 1.9 was now a 16-valve engine and the 2.4 was a 20-valve. This, of course, meant a increase in power. The 1.9-litre was now developing from 100 to 170 horsepower, while the 2.4-litre engine developed from 175 to 210 horsepower. Both the 1.9 and the 2.4 engines were incredibly reliable, especially first generation as the second generation, especially the 2.4 litre with 200 horsepower, suffered cylinder head issues because of the material it was made from. Even today, the JTD engine lives on, but sadly, there are no more of the original 1.9 and 2.4 litre versions. They died with the Alfa Romeo 159 and Brera. Today, the most popular versions are the 1.6, 2-litre and a 2.2-litre. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this type of content, please let me know. Your suggestions for upcoming topics are welcomed in the comments. See you soon.